Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is PJ and this is The Closet. So first off, I want to, um, before we jump into the video, I want to thank everybody that has been supporting me. Um, I really, really greatly appreciate everybody that has subscribed, everybody that's been viewing, just everything, all the support that you have been giving me, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. So with that being said, we'll jump into the video. So a couple weeks ago, I asked everybody to, I needed a vote. And I wanted you guys to vote on what you wanted to make. So I left the whole thing up to you. So I need your help. And like I said, this is a channel of we, not just me. So you guys voted. This is a sheet. So I asked you guys what you wanted me to make out of the sheet. And what color lining you wanted me to make. So it came back a sundress. And it came back that you wanted a yellow lining. All right, that's what you're getting. So first things first, the sheet. Here it is. We're making it. Okay, wait. Obviously. Now, the first thing is we needed a pattern. So, I went out and I got a pattern. Um, I kind of like this one. This, this will not look like this. It's not going to look like this. I like to do my own twist on it. Not that I don't like this because it's cute, but I like to do my own thing with all of my patterns that I do, all my clothing that I do. So, this is going to be different from this. I just use this as a base. So, when you go to the store and you find a pattern that you like, there's many different um, brands. This is a McCall's, there's Simplicity, there's Butterick, there's this, that, and the other. Um, they're hanging around on the shelf. You go up, you pick one out, you take it to the cash register, you pay for it, you go home, you buy it, make it, there it is. Sometimes when you go to the store, they have these great big books. They're big books. They're like really big books. Anyways, you go through them, you pick out the pattern that you like, you find the number. Now, every pattern has a number. Ours is M9300. Do you see that? So, if you want to follow along or you want to make this, that's the number that I used. So, if you're in the book and you find the book, you find this number. You open the drawers. Yes, you are allowed to open the drawers underneath. Don't be scared. You won't get in trouble. You're allowed to be there. Open the drawer. You go through. You find the number. Pick it out. And that's what you get. Now, every time you get a pattern, it comes in a great big sheet of, like, tissue paper. It's then about the only thing I can describe it to you as. I don't know. It's real thin. And it comes in a great big long sheet of tissue paper. On that tissue paper are little tiny patterns. Like this. And you cut these out. You put these on your material, you cut them out. Easy. So... When you get this out, please be careful because this stuff, like I said, is real, real lightweight and it will rip. So be careful that you don't rip it. So you get this and you put it on your fabric. I'm trying not to rip it. You put it on your fabric. Now, oh, you also get a booklet. Let me tell you about the booklet first because I don't want to get you confused. All right, you get this booklet. Apparently I'm confused. Get the booklet. This comes in all patterns, and it tells you exactly what you need to do. It tells you how much material you need, which that's usually on the back of the of the um, envelope. This will tell you. I don't know if you can see that very well. The sizes, how much material you'll need for each size. That way, you know. Like, I only bought a yard of material. It's not enough. This tells you exactly on the pattern back how much you need. That way, whenever you go and you find this, you can go up to the um, material and you can get out what you want. And you get a cut, you take it home, and you make it in there. There you go. Back to this. Okay. So, this will tell you everything that you need once you get it home and you put it on your fabric. So, it will tell you which way to fold the fabric, which way to lay your pattern. It tells you everything that you need to know. This is very simple. Read the directions, cut out the pattern, measure it, sew it, and you've got what you need. So, this is really easy to understand. There's also some stuff in the back that you can look, follow along. It shows you exactly what you need to do. Simple. Here's something that's not simple. If anybody can do this, Please, please leave me a um, comment.
comment down in the comment section to let me know how you do this because I'm not, I don't know. You can take it out, but you can't get it back. I cannot get these patterns back in here. Like, look, like I did pretty good. Like, it's not, it's not too bad. I mean, I, it's kind of okay. So, if you know how to get that in there, please let me know. Because if I go to use this pattern again, and you notice that it is like in 400,000 little squares and it's all stuck down in there, you'll know why, because I can't get it back in the envelope. So, yeah. Tell me how you do it. I really appreciate that. So every time you get a pattern, look, I can do this one. <laughs> Done. <laughs> okay. Once you get a pattern, it has this number, like I told you. The booklet has that number. See? Now, like I said, whenever I go and I do my patterns, sometimes I take three or four patterns, I mush them all together, and I make something. So when I don't have, uh, I'm done, and I don't have all my stuff together, and I don't know what goes in what envelope, and it, do, it doesn't matter. It all has the number on it for you. Like, there it is again. It's on that one. And it is on this one. Every one of these will have a number. Every brand usually will have some sort of matching number. That way you can put it all back in your envelope if you can get it in there. I personally can't. Comment section. And you have all your stuff back together and you don't have to worry about it. Here's another little thing that I do. Now, whenever you get a pattern, it will say on it what the sizes are on the back. It will tell you it's for a small, extra small, large, medium, you get it. Now some material, or some, some materials, hmm, some envelopes don't, they're only for a certain size. So if you're a small, I'm not a small, if you're a small, look for the small. If you're an extra large, then it'll look, it'll say extra large. Now some of them are only for, it'll say, instead of saying large, extra large, if you look, it'll say like the sizes of what that should be like it might be for um, a size 5 to an 8 to a 10 to a 14 to a you get it. it it'll stay on here so this is what I do whenever I go and I'm cutting out my pattern as you can see this one says extra small small medium large extra large I always cut out on the largest one and here's why if I'm out and I see somebody and they like my dress and they're small I'm not a small but they're small and they say oh can you make me that sure no problem I have the pattern if I'm out and somebody sees it and they says oh can you make me that I still have the extra large if they are size extra large now this is simple all you have to do is follow up the little line here see like say they're small and you follow that line up clean up to the top see where it says small right here all you do is fold that down right on that line and there you've got your small pattern. And you can do that the whole way around. Now if you kind of get confused and you're not sure where to go with your um, sizing, here's another little thing that you can go grab. Simple, easy. Go out to your nearest store and you buy this. Now what these are, are these are um, fabric pencils. They are washable. They will wash right out of your, your clothing. I need to tuck that in. <laughs> they will wash right out of the clothing. Now the reason I bought this pack, number one reason is it had the pencils in it because I lost my pencil and I don't know where it went and now I have too much stuff in this room and I'm not looking for it. I should, but anyways, I didn't. <laughs> so, it has the two pencils. It has a light one and a dark one. The light one, of course, is the white one is this. If you have dark material and you want to write or measure or and you don't know where your seam is you don't know you're trying to do the pattern different you don't know what it is blah blah blah. if you have black or a dark color of course you'd use the white if you have a light color i'd use the blue i have used this already on the back part we'll get to so this one also too has a great big printed measuring tape see i have these i can't see little tiny now okay so i bought that Oh, Singer. We have to say who the brand is. This is Singer. Singer. Maybe one day I can say Singer, but I'm not being, like, um, sponsored or anything. I guess I have to say that, but, you know, it's helped me. 
Apparently singers helped a lot of people, so, yeah. Okay, back to this. Listen, I will tell you this right now. If y'all see this clean, this is my work area. If y'all see that clean, I'm doing something wrong. Uh, because, look, 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 I got scraps of stuff and... Mm. If this is clean, that's a bad sign. I'm not doing my job. If it's dirty, okay, not like gross dirty, but like, you know, scraps dirty, then we're doing something. If you don't want to see this, then just kind of like, don't watch this side at all. <laughs> if you do want to know what maybe our next project is, or a hint about what I'm doing, or what we're going to do, and then look, like check it out, maybe you'll get a little sneak peek. So, okay, <laughs> back to our project. I did not want to make this video a 14 hour long video of you guys just watching me sew every stitch. That's boring, once again. It's too long. This video will be edited. 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 It'll be fixed to where, yeah. We're going to do the front, then I'm going to show you the back. It will all be in one video. It won't be a part one, it won't be a part two, it won't be a part 16. It'll all be in one video, but it will be edited. See, the next time you see me, I will not be wearing this. I will be wearing something else. So you'll know then that it was stuck together, and you'll get the back side of what I'm doing. Got it? So I wanted to show you how easy this was, first of all. Okay, usually, usually, on the pattern... It gives you a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. You have to sew it together. The pattern already gives you that allowance. So it'll say on there, leave a 5 inch seam allowance. That way you have enough to seam it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me find my pin. Alrighty, there's one. And now it's over here. Okay. So, what I had to do with this is all I had to do was take this pattern, cut it out, lay it on my material the wrong way, and sew it together. Just like that. Simple. Now, when I say wrong way, I know you probably can't see that either, so we're going to take this all apart really, really quickly because I know y'all don't want to see all this whatnot going on, but I'm just going to do this real quick so you can see what I mean about the seam allowance. Okay, now if you look here, you'll see my seam. You probably won't be able to see it because it's white and it's really hard to see, but we're hoping that you can see it. And there is a allowance from here to here. That is your seam allowance. If you don't have this on your machine, now sometimes the machine comes and it already says like half inch, five eighths inch, whatever it is. If you don't have that on your sewing machine, I will show you a quick little trick on how to do that whenever I give you some tips on how to actually sew this together. So that way, whenever you do this, this part here, this allowance, listen, you cannot take out a seam that is too short. So you have to take the whole thing out. You can always sew it in, but you can't sew it out. Got it? So this way, once I have this seam, and it's too small or too big, I can adjust this width here. Okay. Unless I have to add more to it, we don't want to do that. We want this seam to be enough that we can work with. So usually it is a 5 8 seam. Um, this was a back-to-back, -back, um, I don't know if you can see this. Usually you just throw this on the bed and it is the same thing. It's the same color. Now this one here was a little bit different. See, there's that color. And here was the back side of the color. Now, it is just a little bit different. See that difference? But this was my back side, so I had to put it back to back. So, other than that, it wasn't too bad. There you go. It's pretty much done for us already. There's the front. Simple. So, on each material, there is a front and a back. Your pattern will tell you, like I just showed you. This is what I mean. There is a nice edge. Let me find it. This is a nice, pretty edge. See how nice that is? Pretty and 
bright. Now if I turn this over, you see the difference. This is a little bit dull. Like this is a little bit dull, this is a little bit bright. So whenever your pattern says put it on the front side, that'd be the bright side, which you're going to see that's the front. If it says fold it and put it on the back side, then this of course is the back. That didn't take a genius to figure out. So also to wash your material. Always wash your material. Now, reason number one, you want to make sure that it doesn't shrink because I want to make sure that this doesn't shrink on my butt because it might fit me here, but if I wash it, then it ain't going to fit me. So make sure you pre-wash your fabric. Another thing, when you wash your fabric, sometimes you get this raw edge. See that raw edge on there? So you want to make sure that after this comes, you cut all this off and you get a nice clean edge like that. So make sure that once you wash it, and that gives you all this to clean up. On the sheet, that didn't happen, of course, we have all this nice clean edge the whole way around. Also, too, this is another reason that you should wash your fabric. There is stuff on your fabric, and it is called fabric seizing. Now, what that does is it makes your fabric a little bit stiff. If you've ever pulled a sheet out of a package, it's kind of that, it's, it's, it's stiff. I don't even, it's crisp, I guess. Now, if you wash the sheet a couple times, you get this nice, flowy sheet. You know, it's, it, you all know what I'm talking about. You've had it on your bed. It's nice, it's flowy, it's comfy, and you want to, like, yeah. When you pull it out of the package, it's not like that. And you all know that, too. That's because it has this fabric seizing on it. Now, not all sheets do. Not all fabric has it. But if it does, just wash it. I think I have washed this. I want to say like three, four times. I'm not even going to lie about it. But it gave me this nice flowy um, thing to it, like to where it's pliable and I can work easier with it. So make sure that you wash your fabric. If you get it at a yard sale, a flea market, or whatever, you're going to want to wash it anyway. Now when I got this, when I got it in a bag of stuff uh, from a auction, I think, it was in the package already. Now, here is a, another thing. If you're going to buy a sheet, wherever you're at, this is this is a really good tip to, to do. If you buy this, and they have two of them, if they have the fitted and the flat, buy them both. This is why. There's a lot of material that comes with a sheet. And... If you mess up, like say it's like you're using the flat sheet. If you mess up, you have the fitted sheet to work with. Hmm. So say you're new to sewing and you're not sure. I'm falling apart. Hold on. <laughs> if you're new to sewing and you don't really, you're, you're first trying it out, you find a sheet you like pretty. I'm going to knock this thing down yet. Um, that way, like I said, you can make a boo-boo. And then you can always go back and fix your boo-boo with your fitted sheet. So that's always a good little thing, a good little tip to know. That, you know, you can always fix your boo-boo. And sometimes when you get a regular piece of material like this pink, I always buy enough to where if I make a boo-boo, I have enough material to go back to cotton. So if you buy a sheet set or curtains, make sure that there's like one or two of them. So that way you can have extra boo-boo material because we all make boo-boos like, like just let's be clear here i'm not perfect i'm not boo-boo proof <laughs> god knows i'm not boo-boo proof y'all know so okay here's another little tip y'all have one of these right you know what this is it's a wallet everybody has a wallet y'all have one had one don't use it don't need it don't like it whatever here's what you do take your little wallet that you don't use anymore ouch and I stuck myself with a pin. <laughs> Don't do that. Put your stick pins in here, straight pins, whatever. Put a sewing needle in here. That way you have something to sew with. Now up here I put in um, some um, safety pins. And this is a needle threader. Listen. I can't thread no needle. I need this. So you can, can, you can use that. Also, I put in a little pair of scissors. That way we have those. 
Now on the back side, this is what I usually take on the back side. Now remember, there's wallets that are all different sizes. You can put more or less in here. It's up to you. It's your priority. It's your wallet. So I put some buttons in. Just regular old different colored buttons. You know, usually black or white. And I put, instead of a whole spool of thread, because you know you ain't getting a whole spool of thread in here, this is what I do. I use bobbins. Just regular bobbins. Now usually, you know, you take a white or a black one. I'm using yellow so y'all can see it. Yes, there's tape on there because I tape my towels. There's probably a towel on there somewhere, but there's a towel on there. You just can't see it. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I just take a bobbin because that way I have a little bit of thread, like I said. This is yellow just so you can see it on camera. Now listen, if you take this with you and you've like... If a couple little stitches and a button don't fix your problem, go buy something else. Like if you're out and your bits and bobs are coming out your back end, just go buy another pair of whatever that your bits and bobs ain't coming out of because this ain't going to work. But it's just a good little, you know, thing to have around just in case because I have just in case moments all the time. Okay, let's review. We got our pattern. We got our pattern number because we need that. We've figured out how to cut it out. We've got our instruction book. We can't get our pattern back in, so somebody please help me with that. Um, we have figured out that we, or I, just a tip, always use my largest pattern. You can always size it down. You can't size it up. You can, but it's very hard. I suggest that you leave it that, that bigger size going over that. Uh, instruction booklet, stinger, um, these are really, really handy to have. Um, whatever that, right and wrongs and material, shows you what we got done so far, our little sewing kit, hmm, alright, so far I think we are on track. Yeah, okay, next video, I'm gonna have the back somewhat done. I'm going to try and show you some sewing. I want to give you some sewing tips. Um, th this is not going to look like that, so be prepared. I have some ideas rolling around in my noggin, and anybody that knows me knows that, yeah, a lot of stuff rolls around up in there. Oh, <laughs> marbles. No comments in the bottom about that, because I already know. I don't need a reminder. Speaking of the comments, Hey, down below, if you look real quick, like if you look now, if you just glance down, there's a little button that says subscribe. And if you would hit that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also down there, there's a little bell. And if you hit that, it gives you all the notifications of all the stuff that I put online and when we're online and all that. There's also a thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up button. Greatly appreciate that. Leave anything that you want to know down in the comment section if I've skipped over something. If you're not sure what goes on, please leave all your comments down below. I will try and get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I greatly appreciate everything that you've guys done. Um, all the love that you've shown me, I want to show you back. So stay tuned. I'll give you the second part of this. Like I said, it's edited, so don't even start with me about, she edited it and I, I already know it's edited know this. So, I'm just telling you now. It's edited. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that about wraps everything up. I think I went over so far the beginning. So, yeah. I guess with that being said, that's a wrap. Bye YouTube. Till next time. Hi everyone. Okay, welcome back. Um, like I said, this is kind of like a two-part thing all wrapped up into one. So, here we go. Alright, the last time that you guys were here, we had done the front of our um, dress, our sundress. So, now, this time, we got the back. So, I went and I did it all together. Okay, here's the, here's the deal. I made a boo-boo. <laughs> so, I kind of had to revamp a little bit of what I was doing. I kind of boo-booed on the lining. 
Um, the lining, for whatever reason, well, is very tricky to work with. Um, I got this lining that I thought was really flowy, and which it is. But it ends up being a little bit harder to work with than I thought. So I kind of made a cutting boo-boo. So we improvised. Anyways, I think it turned out cute. I don't know. Anyway, I was going to put my own touch on it anyways. So it doesn't, it, it, it came out fine for me. So here's what happened. So I had two panels here. One here and one here. You can see there's a seam down the center. And then there was this back piece. I was going to originally start my lining from here the whole way down. I don't know what happened. Things just happened. Boo-boos. So, anyway, somehow I got my measurements off, so I decided that I wasn't going to do that. I'd just start here. So I did. Now, in the process of all that, I ended up making a slit. I cut it open. And I did this the whole way around the dress. There's one there. And there's one in the front. As you can see, you get the point. So, what I started doing then is I started putting, like, a panel here. And then connected that panel to here. And connect. So, there's four pieces of um, dress. There's four panels of dress, but there's five panels of lining. That way I can, it, it would cover, this one lining here would cover this slit. Get it? Okay. I had it here somewhere. As you can see, like I said, if this is dirty, I'm not doing anything right. No. If this is clean, I'm not doing anything right. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay. So here's what ended up happening. So as you can see, this stuff sews pretty well right to the material. So I don't have to mess with that too much. So I'm pretty good there. But it is very stretchy. So I had to watch what I was doing. So what's actually happening is this. This is like my small little sample. I made the slit. I, I sewed it down. I made the slit. And then when this opens up, of course, you just see the inside. So it kind of looks like that on the inside of this. So that's what happened there. So I ended up making this the whole way around, the whole way around the dress. And I kind of didn't like the top, so I just added some little bling here at the top of it. Um, now, that, like I said with this stuff, I didn't even put a seam in it because it's really, really hard to put a seam in this. Um, just the way the material is made. Uh, where's my piece? I don't know what I did with it. Okay, here, let's try this. So, if you look at this, like, one way it's it's not so bad. See, it stretches, but not a little bit. It's just not as much as, like, this side. Yeah. So, that's how I made my boo-boo. <laughs> so, whenever I redid everything, I had to make sure that it went this way. It still stretches, but not as near as this like these are like nylons like they're extremely yeah a boo boo they're a boo boo material so this is why i tell you always make sure that you have extra material for stuff like this which thank goodness i did and i didn't have to um try and get this again and you know so i did have enough material for for my mistake um, so, we got it fixed up, and this is the end result, and as you can see, it is a very flowy concoction that I've come up with. It does look really cute on, which I'm going to show ya. <laughs> Y'all happy about that? Yeah, whatever. So, but it, it does fit nice. It does move real nice whenever you move. Um, even the little peekaboos. Ain't really peekabooing your bits and bobs, so you don't have to worry about that. But, um, but yeah, it's it's different. Like I said, I was going to put my own twist on it anyway. So here's the twist that I decided to make. So, there you go. Do you hear this? Do you hear that? It's squeaking. <laughs> it's old. I can't. It's old. 
Actually, my grandmother. I can't afford a new one, so we just work with squeaks a lot over here. <laughs> okay. So, next project. Um, I'm going to be doing a little something else different. This is a quick, easy, easy way to make a shirt. Uh, like a summer tank top type shirt. It's easy. It takes one, two, three, four, six seams. And that's it. It's kind of like the um, curtain skirt. We're going to be using elastic again. But, um,. It's, it's really, really easy. You can make this once again. Once you get on to making them, you can make these in uh, uh, 15 minutes, maybe. Oh, I need to go somewhere. I need to, like, you know, have a shirt. I don't know where this It's easy. Um, I'm in the process right now of washing some material for some projects. <laughs> You'll get to see. Don't worry. Simmer down. Um, okay. But here's what I want from you guys this time. Ready? Okay, we're going to make a shirt, right? So we got some fruit salad going on. See my fruit salad? This stuff has not been washed yet. As you can tell. Look, now look at this. This is so stiff, I can't hardly do anything with So this needs washed. Like, it's really, yeah. Oh, we got some handkerchief material. I don't know how well you can all see this, but... Let me try and unravel it here a minute. So, this is our next project. But what I need from you is oof, what you want to what you want to make a shirt out of. This our shirt that we're gonna make. So, do you want handkerchiefs or fruit salad? So, of course, down in the comment section, you know what to do. So, leave your vote. We're gonna have a poll. So, anything on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Or here down below leave your comments and tell me if you want a fruit salad or if you want a handkerchief shirt and that way we'll get started so there's that next project one of the next projects okay here's my tip um, th this is what you need to know you can make your own patterns your own designs your own thing. Now remember when I did this, I just used the pattern as a base. And this is what came out of that. I told you it would not look like what was on the pattern. So, one of the things I want to make is a pair of shorts. And this is the short pattern that I got. It is 97 cents. Actually, I got this at Walmart down in the bins. You know, I told you that you can get into Clean down at the bottom, 97 cents. So, th look, I had it out. <laughs> I can't get it back in. Does that surprise y'all? No. Um, okay, so this is this big piece of tissue paper that I was telling you about. Now, this one ain't cut out because, like I said, I just pulled it out of the thing. Out of the envelope. So, they come like this. You lay that on your material. Just follow the directions. Eat my hair. And it'll tell you what to do. You cut this out with your material. Okay? Now, I'm not going to get this back in. I'm just going to fold it up here just a little bit so I can kind of get it out of our way. Because, you know, I'm not getting it back in there. Alright. Put that over there. Also, guess what? Instruction booklet. They all have the number. Don't forget. Okay. So, if you want to make your own pattern, they have what's called pattern paper, and you can get it on Amazon, um, eBay, fabric stores. You can get it anywhere, just, you know. But, to me, it's kind of a little bit expensive, and you know I'm all about a budget. So, this is what I do. Now, pattern paper can come in a roll like this, or you can get it in a sheet like you can that. So that is, like I said, tissue paper. It's really, really um, pliable and easy to work with. You can use tissue paper. The only thing is with tissue paper is it's really hard to draw on. Have you ever tried to draw on tissue paper? Right. So this is what I use. Guess what this is? 
This is not um, fabric. This is not a fabric roll. This is wrapping paper. Yeah, wrapping paper. I got this at the dollar store. It was a buck. And 90% of the time, whenever you get a roll of wrapping paper, the back of it is white. And as you can see, it's y'all know wrapping paper is very pliable and you know it, you can do a lot of stuff with wrapping paper we can make patterns so that's what i use wrapping paper for now i did get this wrapping paper and was really really surprised because i don't know how well you're going to be able to see this but see the grid mark on here i don't know if you can see that or not maybe if i get this out of the light but this one has grid marks on it. Now, this ra this wrapping paper was a wedding for wedding. I think it's all pretty and whatnot. Listen, even with them grids on there, I am not going to be able to wrap up any pretty present for any wedding with this. <laughs> no, I'm not one of those pretty wrapper people. So I'm the I'm the wrapper person that if it's too short, I'll cut a little strip and tape it on there to so it. Covered. I can't. Okay, anyway, so, but what this is good for, this grid is for your measurements. So you can take and you can measure um, how many inches. I, I didn't even think to see how big the blocks are here. But this will give you a little pattern of, this pattern will give you a pattern of how to lay out your pattern. Hmm. Do you understand? So, these blocks are good for measuring what you want to make, basically. So, like I said, you can get this at the dollar store because, you know, everybody needs wrapping paper throughout the year, and that's what you do. So, it's a buck. You also can get what's called crafting paper. Craft paper. This is craft paper. Now, I got this at the dollar store, too. And it's this plain old brown crafting paper, which is coming off my roll, because I've been messing with it. Okay, so this is the same thing. It's like a paper bag, but it's kind of pliable, and you can use it. You can write on it. You can mark this all up, the same as that. The only thing a little bit different with this is, is that you can use, like, markers, where that is a little bit more of a slicker substance. This is not. It's actually like a paper bag. But you can still put it on, and you can write on it and still put it on material. And then that's, it's just like making a pattern, but instead of your wrapping paper, you're going to use crafting paper. Um, now, I did get this, like I said, at the dollar store, and they were both buck. And this stuff is going to go a long way. Now, the crafting paper does have more per roll on it, if you can see that. But... They are very good for making a pattern. So keep that in mind before you go out and you buy actual pattern paper. Um, go to your nearest dollar store place and see about getting some of these. Um, okay. I still have material left over. There's probably enough material here for me to make a purse out of this for matching be little but I have some but here's what we did though I used the fitted sheet so I still have the whole flat sheet that I can make something else out of somewhere it's over there but I have it so I didn't really boo-boo up this as much as I boo-booed up the lining but I still have the other one so if I would have made a mistake, I had it. I do have enough material here that I'd probably make a purse out of it. But now since I have that other one over there, I can make whatever else out of it. That shirt, a uh, little jacket throw, something. Um, I can always make something out of it now since I have it. It has to be something small in case I make another boo-boo. I won't have anything to unboo-boo myself with. So, hmm. Okay. So, like I said, this was easy. It came in one, two, three, four, five pieces. Laid them down, cut them out, sewed them together. So make sure you check out your material on your envelope. Make sure you have enough. Read your instructions. Cut it out. 
put it together. It's very simple to, um, to do. Make it your own if you want to, or make it exactly like the pattern itself. I did not. Um, let's see, what else do we need to go over? Pattern paper. I can't remember what I said before. So if I'm repeating myself, I don't know. It's an edited video. Edited. Edited. Edited video. I put it together. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm sorry if this video is a little bit long. I didn't mean it to be. Um, imagine how long it would be if I stood here and said every line for you. Yeah. So I didn't want to do that and like make me sit through all that. So there you go. That's what I made. I will put it on and show you guys what exactly it does look like on. I put a little bling to it up here just because I wanted it to go with something down there. Um, but it is nice and flowy. It kind of reminds me of some kind of like Tinkerbell dress or pixie dress or I don't I don't know but I like it. it does flow a little bit. So got all that done. I want you to vote. Vote which one. You want the fruit salad or you want the handkerchief? So vote on this down below. Also down below, you know what to do. Subscribe, like and the little bell don't forget to tag the little bell that way you know when we're putting stuff on here i'll have another video for you next week and you can also follow me on my other social media i have twitter i have instagram i have facebook so make sure you hit those up you can also vote on all of those i think i said that but if not i'm saying it again because it's late and i'm just finishing up here so yeah um overlook so anyways please subscribe i greatly appreciate it thank you everyone for all of your support i greatly appreciate that too so i think i went over about everything that i need to go over if you guys have any any questions leave it down in the comment section um and don't forget to leave your poll down in the comment section and i think that's it yep I guess. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I guess that's a wrap. Bye YouTube.